Real Madrid have had a shocking season. Humiliated by Barcelona in La Liga and humbled by Man City in the Champions League. To make it worse, Benzema is leaving. Madrid are in need of a massive fixing job. And who better to lead them than myself? I'm gonna become the manager of Real Madrid and bring them their 15th Champions League trophy. It really is an end of an era for Real Madrid. Bale, Benzema and Ronaldo, that iconic trio, now none of them are here. They won so many trophies together, but one thing they couldn't do was win a treble for Real Madrid. And I think that's what our goal is gonna be. We're gonna fix Real Madrid, build a team that can do something they've never done before and win a treble. Okay, that Real Madrid team without Benzema does not look all that good. To be fair, it's not just Benzema that's left. Eden Hazard, Marco Asensio. It really is a big rebuilding phase for Real Madrid. Look at their squad. It's so freaking thin right now. But hey, that's why I'm here. Don't you worry. We're gonna get Real Madrid back on track. And we've got the moolah to make Real Madrid insane again. So no worries at all. 300 million to spend. I think a lot of this money has come from freeing up the wages from letting Hazard, Benzema, Asensio all leave. But after assessing this squad, I think I'm clear what needs to be done. We need massive reinforcements in the attack. I ain't using Fede Valverde at right wing. We need a superstar in that position. Plus, I think we need a striker as well to replace Benzema. Someone who can get the best out of Vinicius and hopefully the future right winger we sign. In midfield, I think we're fine for this season. I know there are rumors linking Jude Bellingham to Real Madrid, but when you've got Luka Modric, Tony Cruz for one more season, plus Fede Valverde, I think I'll keep the team as is in midfield. At the back, this back line is incredible. Maybe we could replace Scarvajal, maybe an upgrade for Mendy, but we'll see. It all depends on how much cash have we got. Just to make it clear, Kylian Mbappe, nope, we're not signing him. Every Real Madrid fixing challenge or takeover, we sign him, but I don't think it's gonna happen in real life, so nope, we're not signing him. And I don't know why I've been seeing Guy Havertz to Real Madrid as a serious rumor. Nah, this ain't a serious transfer. This seems like a joke. And we're not signing him, guys. He does not fit my plan, so I'm sorry, Havertz, we're not bringing you in. Hello, darkness, my old friend. The striker I want to bring to Real Madrid is Victor Osimhen. I just feel he is the perfect Real Madrid player. Blistering quick, play the long ball in, he will get there. He's the kind of striker that can get the best out of Vinicius. I feel he is the perfect Real Madrid player. And honestly, I think this transfer could happen in real life as well. Let's see how much is it going to cost us. We're trying to sign Victor Osimhen from Napoli. We're going to start with 75 million, which is a very steady offer. But let's see what they think. They want David Alaba instead. I don't want to give away David Alaba. It's a very reliable centre-back to have. Let's chuck in 80 million then as my second offer and see what they say. Boom, that works. We had to double Ossiman's wages, but hey, we're Real Madrid and it wasn't a problem. And so for 80 million, Victor Ossiman makes the move from Napoli all the way to Real Madrid. With the signing of Ossiman, we've got our Benzema replacement. Now we need to work on getting a better right winger. Don't get me wrong, Rodrigo is incredible, but I see him as more of a super sub rather than a starter this season. And so bringing Mohamed Salah to Real Madrid would be iconic. Now I know he's got a bit of beef with Sergio Ramos, but good thing is Ramos isn't at Madrid anymore. Plus Liverpool missed out on the Champions League and Salah looks pretty frustrated by it. Might be a great time to make a move for him. But if I'm being honest, this is going to be super expensive. But then once again, we're Real Madrid. We've got the money. 120 million, my first offer. Let's see what they say say boom that works Jurgen Klopp seems to be rather happy about it ah. <laughs> wow the wages seem to be crazy for Mo Salah but he's willing to accept a pay cut so that's fine it's done we've just signed Mo Salah for 120 million welcome to Real Madrid I think so far we've done a great job of getting Real Madrid back on track replacing some of the key players that have left that attack looks very dynamic now the thing is do we want to spend more money to improve maybe our defense and midfield because we do have the money to do exactly that. And Jude Bellingham, if we especially sell a few players, could well and truly be in our budget. And we can pull this off to potentially replace Luka Modric. Modric's contract is expiring and he's 36 years old. He's only going to get worse. Should we take advantage of this and replace our captain for the season? Just as I was thinking what needs to be done, Luka Modric walks into my office. Hey boss, I've read the papers. I've seen the Jude Bellingham rumors and I know you want to replace me with him. I'm 
mean, Luca, the truth is you're 36 and it might be the right time for Real Madrid to look into the future. Give me one more season, boss. I know I've got it in me. I've helped Real Madrid win so many trophies and I know I can help them win a treble again. All right, Luca, one more season. That's it. An emotional chat with Luca Modric has convinced me to stick with him for the season. The good thing is, if Modric or even Tony Cruz, both of whom are aging, if their level drops, we can, of course, replace them with Fede Valverde. So that is not a problem. Problem, but the plans to sign Jude Bellingham are going to be put on hold. It's time to kick off our La Liga season. Remember, this season we're going for the treble. That is our goal. Every trophy counts. La Liga, Copa del Rey and the Champions League. It's time to kick off La Liga and we're facing Atletico Madrid. I mean, couldn't be a better desk for us. As soon as the game kicked off, my eyes were on Luka Modric. The man is 36. Forgive me for having doubts that he can still perform at this level. Luka Modric with the fancy footwork that was a brilliant one he still goes he still got it guys shots taken just wide Luka Modric has got it he deserves to get one more season I guess although our midfield was controlling the game Atletico Madrid managed to strike first and take the lead we now need our new signings in the attack to step up and well soon enough we saw our new trio step things up Vinicius Jr and look at Ossiman in the box making a great run and Ossiman doing what he does best that is the blistering pace of our attack Mo Salah looking for Ossiman. This is brilliant. The pace in our attack is crazy. And look at Ossiman get a brace on his La Liga debut. With our new signings delivering, we secure the win against Atletico Madrid. Honestly, guys, this team is looking special. That attack, the blistering pace on the counter that we've got, it's so freaking good. It reminds me of Bale, Benzema, and Ronaldo. We've still got about 100 million left that we can invest into our team, but so far, I'm very impressed. Unless we get some injuries, which hopefully we won't. I reckon we're gonna just keep this money for January. Uh. No way, guys. I can't believe it. I've actually jinxed it. Why did I have to mention about injuries? Berlin Mendy is out with an ACL that he suffered in training. Out for the next seven months. That is awful. Oh, my God. The only other left back we've got is Rafael Obrador. We're not getting into the season with him. Well, change of plans on transfer deadline day. We need to sign a left back. And the player I want to bring in is Alfonso Davies. But do we have enough cash to pull this off? Because he's one of the best left backs in the world. This could be our last signing of the season and we've got to make it count. I'm going to start with 72 million as my first offer for Davies. It's deadline day. The pressure's on. Can we pull this off? Ooh, they want David Alaba back to Bayern in return and I'm not willing to do that. So I'm countering with 74 million as my next offer. Let's see what they say. They're willing to do the deal at 78. Okay, let's do it. Let's freaking do it on deadline day. We're bringing Alfonso Davies. And with that, we've secured a Bonzo Davies at Real Madrid. Not gonna lie, with the signing of Davies, I think we've actually made an improvement. So Mendy's injury has been a blessing in disguise in a way. With that, we're done with all our transfer business. We've got no money to even use in January. This is the team we've got, and our goal is to win the treble. And our next game in La Liga is an El Clasico. This is an opportunity to make a statement. If we can beat Barcelona, you know we're gonna be in the fight for the title. Once again, it was our attack that brought Barcelona low now down to their knees. Go on, Ossiman. Massive chance, and he gets a goal in a classical. What a transfer. Ossiman has been. Ossiman again gets through, goes for goal. It's done. Ossiman is unstoppable. 2-0 against Barca. Vinicius Jr. looking for Ossiman. It's a hat-trick. This attack that we've built might be the best in FIFA history. A massive win in an El Clasico. Real Madrid are back. We're looking favorites for the title. We've built a mega attack. This is looking like our season. With Vinicius, Ossiman and Salah scoring in every game, we were looking unstoppable. Halfway through the season, we're top of La Liga. Not just that, even in the Champions League, we dominated and topped our group. At this rate, this team that we've built is on course for a historic treble, something Madrid have never done before. But the business end of the season is about to begin now. 23 games in, we're top of La Liga, we're in the semi-finals of the Spanish Cup, and we're in the Champions League 
League round of 16 where we've drawn Chelsea. The amount of games we're going to have to get through in the next couple of months is going to be crazy. This squad is going to have to deliver on all fronts. The first task we've got is to get through Atletico Madrid in the Spanish Cup. Can we get a result in the first leg against them? Real Madrid, it's only a draw. But this hectic period only continues as we're preparing now for the Champions League game against Chelsea. But this is Real Madrid and we were ready for Chelsea. We knocked them out of the Champions League and made it to the quarterfinals. While we also knocked out Atletico Madrid and made it to the Spanish Cup finals, the quest for the treble was on. But competing in all three competitions took a massive toll on this team. Oh no, injury problems. Ah. Apart from Ferland Mendy being out, Alfonso Davies has torn his hamstring. He's out for the next couple of months. And so is Tony Cruz. He's out for the next eight weeks. And I just noticed he signed a deal with Bayern Munich to join them. Incredible. We really should have maybe gone for Jude Bellingham in the summer. Even Luka Modric is having massive stamina issues. We're heading towards the business end of the season with so many fitness concerns. I'm worried. We were now facing Napoli in the Champions League quarterfinals. But we had a ton of injuries. And if you show any weakness in the Champions League, you get punished. No, he's got it in behind. No, no, no. Napoli get the goal in the Champions League against us. No way. Our Champions League journey ends in the quarterfinals. The quest for our treble is gone. It's over. Oh my god. To make things worse, we even lost the Spanish Cup final. Forget the treble. We might end up going trophyless. The only way we get to keep our job at Real Madrid is if we can win La Liga. Everything depends on this now. And thankfully, we end up winning La Liga. We at least get one trophy this season to keep our job. The attack we've built? Absolutely incredible. They won us the league this season. But the midfield? Well, not investing in that department has cost us. Next season, we fix up, we go for the treble again. We're getting Real Madrid's 15th Champions League trophy. Heading into our second season with Real Madrid and the goal is to win the treble. There's no denying it, we failed last season. In the Champions League and the Spanish Cup, we bottled it. But saying that, we've got Madrid back on track. We managed to win La Liga. And this season, I think if we make the right signings, we'll be there fighting for the treble. The problem is, both Toni Kroos and Luka Modric have now left the club. Which could be a blessing in disguise because we can now invest in the future of the club. With both our key midfielders gone from last season, we've got a spot open. I want a new midfielder to partner up with Valverde and Chuameni. We spoke about him last season. That player for me has got to be Jude Bellingham. If we can pull this signing off, nothing like it. We do have about 200 million to pull this off and look at Bellingham. His value has gone up so much from last season. We're going to start things off with 130 million. It's a big and hefty offer and that works. Let's go. Honestly, the contract demands from Bellingham, they're pretty good. Like, that is incredibly cheap. I think he he wants to play for Real Madrid as well. He's tired of Dortmund bottling it. And there you go. Incredible scenes as we bring Jude Bellingham to Real Madrid for 130 million. A massive transfer that could help us win the treble. Our first team now is looking incredible. But what we learned from last season was that we need to have a squad. And right now, if you look at our bench, we've got no cover for the striker position. If Ossiman gets injured, our season's going to be over. And so for 55 million, we bring in Gerard Moreno. Okay, the reason I signed Gerard Moreno was that he's got the experience in La Liga. He's 85 rated. I know he's 31, but he's the kind of player that from the bench could really do bits for us. With that, our team is looking more balanced than ever before. Another season begins. Our journey towards the treble begins now. The Madrid fans are ready. This is huge. The signing of Bellingham was absolutely clutch. Unlike Luka Modric from last season, Bellingham had the legs to run up and down. And also, he proved himself as a goal-scoring threat. But the crucial thing what Bellingham did was free up space for our attack to dominate. Our front three of Ossiman, Salah and Vinicius was looking even more devastating this season. Halfway through the season and we're cruising in La Liga and we also managed to top our Champions League group. But remember, the first half of the season does not matter. We're going to be heading into the business end of the season now and this is where we're playing for all three trophies. While we're trying to win the treble with Real Madrid, you guys can get a treble too. 
you gotta do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. Boom, there's your treble. In terms of our quest for the treble, this is where we are right now. Semi-finals of the Spanish Cup. We just need to knock out Osasuna. There's absolutely no way we're bottling against Osasuna. Let's book our spot in the finals. There you go. In the first leg itself, we get the job done. Our attention now turns to the Champions League. And in the round of 16, we've drawn Marseille. Come on, this is not where we're heading out of the Champions League. This season, we're going to win the treble. Let's knock out Marseille. There you go. First leg as well. We get it done. That attack that we've got, unbelievable. We got super lucky in the quarterfinals drawing Lyon. And we absolutely destroyed them. The race for the treble is truly on. We've basically already wrapped up La Liga. It's been an incredibly dominant season. We're in the Champions League semi-finals where we're up against Juventus. But our first task is to win the Spanish Cup. This is going to be the first of three trophies. Let's beat Atletico. Luck has definitely been on our side this season. We're not dealing with any injuries. The road to a historic treble begins now. We need to secure that Copa del Rey trophy. Oh, Alfonso Davies has gotten in behind. Let me just go for goal. No way. No way. That might be the greatest goal in a cup final. Incredible. I thought a freakish goal like that was going to put Atletico's morale down, but it kind of motivated them even more. They managed to get the equalizer. No way. Davies is through again. He goes for goal off the post. Bro. No. It hits Oblak's back and goes in. Davies just has the luck tonight. Conceding a comical goal like that completely crushed Atletico's morale. It was game over. Can we settle the cup final? You're awesome in with a lovely chip. It's over. Atletico aren't coming back from this. And that performance was enough to get Real Madrid their first trophy of the season. The Copa del Rey is secured, but there's still two more to go. We now need to knock out Juventus in the semi-finals. All right, first leg against Juventus. Fede Valverde has got a bit of a knock. Do we have someone to replace him? No way our injury is going to threaten us again this season. Kamavinga, we need you to deliver. Let's see what happens in the first leg against Juventus. Come on, let's get a decent result. It's a one-all draw. Draw. Everything rests on the second leg. The treble is on the line. The good news is Fede Valverde is back from his injury. Is that going to be enough to send us through to a Champions League final? This is it. Yes, guys. Bellingham came through. Salah and Ossiman as well. Champions League final. Even more reason to celebrate as we secure La Liga once again. That's two trophies out of three. Just one more to go. We win it. And that's the treble secured. It's going to be Real Madrid versus Bayern Munich in this Champions League final. The game to decide it all. We've honestly built an amazing team and I think we're ready to win Madrid's first ever treble. Let's do it. One game for eternal glory. Let's secure that treble and Real Madrid's 15th Champions League title. Bayern Munich had the upper hand from the get-go. They were creating chances and they even hit the post. But just before halftime, it was a former Bayern Munich player that punished them. Alfonso Davies breaking through this time with the cross and oh, it's Ossiman with the goal. It had to be him. Half time and we've got the advantage, but I'll be honest, Bayern have been playing better. Second half, I think I want to make some changes. It really does feel like Rudiger's got a mistake in him, so I'm going to bring on David Alaba. Alaba knows his former team pretty well. This might be smart. Even after bringing on Alaba though, we couldn't stop Bayern from creating chances. Bayern Munich, no, no, no. We gave them one chance in the second half and they took it. To make things worse, Salah even got injured. Oh, I think are really going away from us, man. This is such bad luck. Salah is injured. Thankfully, we have Rodrigo, the ultimate super sub. Can he do something for us? No way. Rodrigo has broken through. Rodrigo almost got the winner for Madrid. No. Too many. Oh, that's a lovely pass for Simon. Could we do it? Bellingham. Of course it's Bellingham. He is such a clutch player. 2-1. We've got the advantage. Just five minutes to go for a historic treble. We've got to hang on no matter what. I think it's done. I think it's done. We've won a historic treble with Real Madrid. Something they've never done. It took us two seasons completely overhauling the attack, the midfield even. But we've pulled it off. La Liga, check. Copa del Rey, check. Champions League, check as well. We've just made Real Madrid win their first ever treble. If you enjoyed this video, why not watch me fix Leeds United? Because boy, do they need fixing. Click here to watch that.